Hello. In this video, I'm going to continue my series on the redox reactions of substituted benzenes, talking about the oxidation of phenol. It turns out that despite uh, being uh, aromatic, phenol is surprisingly easy to oxidize, uh, certainly uh, under similar types of conditions to um, primary and secondary alcohols. Uh, and in fact, the, the chromic acid or Jones oxidation uh, conditions are quite capable of oxidizing uh, phenols. But you might be surprised at the structure of the product. Right? The, <clears throat> it's not just possible to oxidize this straight up to a ketone. There's a uh, there's no hydrogen to remove here, and you can't have this extra double bond. It'd be five bonds. So phenols actually get oxidized to something called qu uh, quinone, uh, and specifically this is parabenzoquinone um, or paraquinone. Quinones are really important uh, ingredients in biochemical redox reactions, including the uh, electron transport chain of aerobic respiration. Uh, uh, during that process, using um, ge generally other bio biological producing agents, quinones can be reduced uh, to, to the hydroquinone or dihydroxybenzene, and then are, ox and then are later oxidized back uh, often by, by serving themselves as a reducing agent down the chain, oxidize back to quinones. Um, the, num the types of, of things that can reduce quinones to, to hydroquinones are actually quite large, and a number of mild reducing agents will do this. Um, and hydroquinone itself is pretty oxidizing, or pretty easy to oxidize back, back to quinones. So there's this redox cycle uh, will generally happen, like if you're trying to do a reaction with hydroquinone, it's not normally a redox reaction, but there's an oxidizing agent pre present, you're going to generate a lot of quinone. So this is um, <clears throat> important, so this is an important sort of thing to note that, you know, if you're trying to do some kind of reaction where, oh, well, you know, maybe you're trying to do at trying to oxidize this compound, and you're of course interested in oxidizing that primary alcohol. Oh, get down here. To to the carboxylic acid, uh, the phenol is going to misbehave. Actually, of course, the whole benzene side chain or the whole alkyl side chain is going to misbehave, as, as that will be. Oxidized off as well, and so there's a pretty good chance that what's going to form here is not necessarily what you wanted. I mean, unless you wanted this compound. I do want to point out that uh, the mechanism of this reaction has been well studied, but I am not exceedingly familiar with it. Um, I know that the extra oxygen atom from and the going from phenol to quinone actually comes from the water solvent. Uh, but beyond that, I'm not certain of the complete mechanism for this oxidation. I know that the, the, the redox between quinone and hydroquinone actually involve a sequence of, of single electron transfers and, and followed by proton transfers as, as needed. So this finishes my video on, on the oxidation of phenol. Uh, there are only a handful of videos left in my, my sequence on, on the redox reactions of substituted benzenes. Um, and those are all going to be about the birch reduction. Thank you for watching.